You know, what we drive and how we power those vehicles is a major focus of automotive industry restructuring these days, both here in the U.S. and around the world. The overall goal, reducing both dependence on oil and negative impact on the environment. Now, much attention has been given to hybrids like this GMC Yukon that we tested last year and the current development of plug-in electric cars. Lost in the discussion is something that could help bridge the gap, and it's something you might think of as an oxymoron, clean diesel technology. Mention diesel, and you're likely to think big rigs with big engines and big noise output. I think of a stinking odor. That, too, along with black sooty exhaust. But you know what they say. That was then. This is now. A combination of government mandates and technical advances make clean diesel a viable bridge as America works toward energy independence. And some automakers know this. Unfortunately, right now, they're all European automakers, including BMW, which recently introduced what it calls advanced diesel to the American market. This X5 sports activity vehicle, one of two diesel models BMW offers. Uh, it's good for the environment, and uh, they're actually more reliable than gas engines. According to the U.S. Energy Department, Brian White is correct about today's diesel engines. One of the big advantages to diesel is its efficiency. It's a bit better than gasoline which will provide an advantage for the environment because you'll be buying and burning fewer gallons. Imagine this is a gallon of fuel. If we all switch to diesel, we could save 90 million of these every single day. That's BMW's claim, but Maggie Wilson still doesn't understand how diesel is better than gas. It has exhaust. The exhaust is still contaminating the atmosphere. I don't see where it would help at all. Well, BMW claims this X5 diesel produces 20% less carbon dioxide. That's a plus. And new technology greatly reduces harmful nitrogen oxide and particulate emissions. You know, the soot of old? Well, it's cleanly burned off before the exhaust ever reaches the tailpipes. <laughs> and there are far fewer particulates to burn off because the sulfur content in diesel fuel these days has been reduced by a whopping 97%. Well, I have a question. So you I all, think you have several questions. <laughs> I do have several questions. We well, always hear that diesel engines uh, take you farther than gas. Is that true? It is true because, uh, give or take, diesel is about 25% more efficient than gasoline. Now, in this case, the X5 with a six-cylinder gasoline engine gets an EPA-estimated 15 miles per gallon in the city, 21 on the highway. Now, the X5 with the six-cylinder diesel engine, which is the one we tested last week gets 19 in the city, 26 on the highway. Now, I put it to the test on the road. I went the 80 miles or so from northeast Richland County up to Charlotte, pay a little visit to South Park Mall. Remember, EPA says it should get 26. Well, that's exactly what I got, 26 miles to the gallon. That was driving 75 to 80 miles an hour. And so the round trip there and back with a couple of stops burned less than eight gallons of diesel fuel. So that's not bad. Okay, it's not bad, but diesel fuel costs more. So what about the cost? Do you save money? Are you losing? Well, it depends on several things, really. I mean, AAA gas prices right now here in South Carolina would have it certainly compared to regular. Yes, diesel costs more. You'll pay more to fill up. Mm -hmm. Premium is about the same, or depending on where you fill up, uh, premium could actually be more, so you would actually save money filling up. Particularly, that's the case with the next five, because BMW's, the gasoline versions, run on premium fuel. But again, it depends on where you fill up. In the long run, you do save money, because the same distance that you'll go on the one tank of diesel, in this case, I think it's like 585 miles, Ooh, you, would ha you would have to pump an additional five gallons of gas, five to six gallons of, of gasoline into the tank, which would cost you another 10 to $11 extra. So basically, you need to find out where the best place to where the best up. price is paying for so, pumping. Yeah, Midlands Connect. There you go. <laughs> All right, last question. So are there any deals here in the U.S.? Right now, the only companies offering uh, clean diesel mm -hmm. automobiles in the U.S. are the European makers, BMW, Mercedes, Volkswagen right now. And of course, Volkswagen would be the most affordable models. Mm -hmm. GM, Ford, and Chrysler, they offer diesel power but only for heavy-duty pickup trucks right now. So nothing for me. No cars, nothing for you. <laughs> nothing for me, for that matter, from the domestics. But we do have more information about clean diesel technology on our website. Plus, you can download the current EPA fuel economy guide for all cars. Just visit MindlesConnect.com for that information.